Mark Leader is the person who was holding the fundraiser for uh, Mitt Romney in Boca Raton. That was the $50,000 a plate fundraiser where, of course, there was the secret tapes of Mitt Romney where he said that 47% of the country is not going to vote for him because basically they're lazy and they feel entitled and they feel like they're victims and he's written them off and he says he doesn't care about them. So that wound up being incredibly damaging. Well, so since it was Leader's house in Boca Raton and he's another private equity guy and he has a net worth or he did have a net worth of 400 million dollars before his wife and him got divorced in 2009 and she likely took half and at this point the way it is in the country it's probably lucky if she only took half and there she is so we'll get back to her in a second but leaders pissed not just about the divorce but of course about the videotape being leaked and he's mortified that this happened at his house so he's coming for the person who did it Here's a report uh, from the Naked Philadelphia, which is a blog on this. They say, Leader believes that the video was made by someone who was hired to work the party. He's in the process of narrowing down the suspects and is contemplating contacting law enforcement. Uh-oh, he's coming for him. What I'm amused by here is like, ah, this guy's saying, I can't be one of my rich donor friends. Those guys are awesome. They'd never rat us out. This is all our plan to, you know, make sure we get lower taxes and shift the burden onto the middle class. It must have been one of the help. One of those staff. You know, remember the video? The guys that were walking around in white gloves? They're like, oh, please. Now the guys they hired to do that. Now, of course, he thinks, such a Republican move. Who do you blame? You blame the guys who are the least powerful in the room. Now, I don't know who did it. Maybe it was one of them, right? But what's his first instinct? Goddamn lower-income people that were serving us. The servants were off message here. They're the problem, right? So, and then, of course, now he's all defensive over the criticism he's receiving. And he says, wait, 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 I'm socially liberal. And I've given to other Democrats before, Debbie Wasserman Schultz, Tom Udall, Blanche Lincoln. Blanche Lincoln's like the most corporatist Democrat you've ever seen in your life. Etc. Etc. And he says, I'm socially liberal. Oh, really? Then why did you give over $200,000 to a guy who is not at all socially liberal? Mitt Romney would take, uh, try to take away as much gay rights as possible in this country. He said it before, totally against gay marriage. Was against the repeal of Don't Ask, Don't Tell. What's liberal about that? He's totally pro-life. He would take away a woman's reproductive rights in this country. What's socially liberal about that? In other words, yeah, 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 I'm casually socially liberal, maybe, because it's uh, better among my crowd to say things like that but in reality I give a tremendous amount of money to the opposite cause whether I believe or don't believe that stuff is irrelevant because the only thing that matters is my greed my unadulterated greed give me the lower taxes give it to me give it to me give it to me now they've also done defense of him in other realms they say we pointed out yesterday 20 percent of the companies that Sun Capital bought bankrupt they say, look, we buy distressed companies, so that's more likely to happen. Okay, fascinating. But you didn't have to do what you did to friendlies. As we pointed out in New York Times story saying, he drove them into bankruptcy, so he wouldn't have to pay the workers' pensions. You see, Mark, that's the real problem. Now, the last defense is going to be about the sex parties. But as we said yesterday on the show when we were talking about some sex parties he apparently had uh, that the New York Post reported about in 2011, they, look, first of all, keep it real. What does it mean to have a sex party? Some people had sex at his party. He had some hot Russian chicks at his party. Okay? Mark, that isn't the issue. The issue is, while you're cutting people's pensions and not paying them and driving them into bankruptcy, you had that party at a house that you rented in the Hamptons for $500,000 a month. That's insanity. So now, his friends come to his defense and they say, they admit that there was a barely clad pretty women dancing at the party, but they don't understand the blowback to Mark over the activities of his guests who are consenting adults. And mind you, look, some people are doing blowback, if you will, on that, but they always use sex as an excuse to attack someone, right? They do it to Democrats all the time, and in this case, they're like, Oh, can you believe this guy with his sex parties? Because some people get pissed about that. At the Young Turks, we're pro-sex parties. So we couldn't care about that. But here comes another guy who, I don't know, man, it makes me feel conflicted. Well, let me tell you. He says, another friend sympathized with his plight. He said, his wife cheats on him with 23-year-old tennis pro. So he lets off a little steam. 
yet he's the one that's vilified? Oh, that's funny. So it turns out this guy's wife cheated on him with a 23-year-old tennis pro. And that's why they got divorced, and she still took a lot of his money. <laughs> okay, now Mark, if that's all you had done, we'd probably be on your side. Okay, but that's not what our issue is. Our issue is the ruthless way you conduct business and the way that you bribe politicians, and I know you claim that everybody does it. It doesn't make it right. The way you give $200,000 to politicians to make sure that you get millions in return in tax cuts. Somebody's got to pay those bills. You push those costs onto the average American. That's what we're complaining about. And right about now you might be thinking, that ain't the 23-year-old tennis star above Jenk's shoulder. That's Djokovic. Fair enough. But it sounds like the Djokovic was on Mark Leader. Ha, ha, ha.